Welcome to Hiroshima, Japan. If you're planning a trip to Japan in 2018 and haven't penciled in a visit, now might be the time to reevaluate your plans. In this video, I'll take you around the city and give you 15 things you may want to add to your itinerary. From learning more about the history of Hiroshima at the Atomic Bomb Dome and Peace Park, heading out of the city to visit world heritage sites such as Miyajima and Okonoshima, as well as showing you some local food and what to expect at particular times of year, namely during Christmas and Cherry Blossom in April. I hope you enjoy my Hiroshima travel guide. The Atomic Bomb Dome The Atomic Bomb Dome has to be first on your list of things to do in Hiroshima. The former product exhibition hall was the only building able to withstand the force of the first atomic bomb to be used in war on the 6th of August 1945 at 8.15am. Initially planned for demolition, the skeletal remains of the building were instead preserved to serve as a monument to remind future generations of the horror of what occurred on that fateful day. The building became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1996. The Hiroshima Peace Park Surrounding the dome is the Hiroshima Peace Park, a large area encompassing many points of interest from the Children's Memorial, dedicated to Sadako Sasaki, a child who died as a result of the atomic bombing. The Peace Flame, which will burn until the production and use of nuclear weapons are banned worldwide. The Peace Bell, which symbolises the sound of peace. The Hiroshima Peace Memorial and Hall and the Museum, which is an excellent opportunity to learn more about the atomic bombing and subsequent events. Meet a survivor. A museum can only tell you so much. To learn more, head to Social Book Cafe on the 6th of each month to speak to survivors from the atomic bombing. Meet Takaki Morikawa, an 80-year-old man who gives a fascinating account of his experience and his life after the bomb. Hear his father's story as he battled to save survivors and the nearby national broadcasting station. Cat Cafe Now for something completely different. Japan wouldn't be Japan without a visit to a cat cafe. Located close to the Peace Park, for just 700 yen you can spend half an hour relaxing surrounded by numerous gorgeous cats. A must for any cat fan. Miyajima the number one trip out of Hiroshima is to Itsukushima, otherwise known as Miyajima Island. Another UNESCO World Heritage Site, Miyajima is well known for its ancient shrines, temples, pagodas and wild deer. The main draw is the Great Tori Gate at the entrance to Itsukushima Shrine, built in the 12th century and easily accessible at low tide. The vermilion colour of the Tori Gate and Shrine is designed to keep evil spirits away. Visit on New Year's Eve for a fire festival designed to protect the island from fire. Okonomiyaki Yes, it's time for some food. Okonomiyaki, roughly translated as what you like and grilled, is Hiroshima's signature dish. Although imitated in cities such as Osaka, Hiroshima's okonomiyaki remains traditional. Basically a savoury pancake, okonomiyaki comes in a number of varieties including soba and udon, a pancake consisting of batter, vegetables such as cabbage, seaweed, green onions and bean sprouts, egg, pork and best of all, okonomi sauce. Okonomiyaki is an absolute must in Hiroshima. Okonoshima 
Head out of Hiroshima once more by visiting Okonoshima, affectionately named Bunny Island. Located a couple of hours from Hiroshima, Okonoshima isn't just for rabbit lovers. It holds a dark past formerly used during World War II to manufacture poisonous gases such as tear gas. You're able to visit the original power plant used in the production process and a number of other historic sites located around the island. Rabbits were originally used as test subjects. Nowadays, over 700 of them roam the island freely. A truly unique day out from Hiroshima. Little Mermaid. Point number eight may be slightly mainstream, but there's nothing like visiting a Japanese bakery. You can fill yourself up with some awesome food at Little Mermaid, located at Hiroshima Station. Curry pan, vegetable croquettes, cheesy bread, hot dogs, hot food, and sweet items like donuts will most likely leave you unable to move, but you'll leave safe in the knowledge you probably won't need to eat for the rest of the day. Takahara Another small town located close to Okonoshima, Takahara is often referred to as the Mini Kyoto, with small, quiet streets dating back to the Edo period in the 15th century. In addition, Takahara also has a number of impressive shrines and temples and is known as an ideal location for trying premium sake. Cherry Blossom April is the busiest time in Hiroshima, largely due to the beginning of spring and the mind-blowing Sakura, or Cherry Blossom, in the area. Be prepared for crowds, bring a picnic, and enjoy the gorgeous Cherry Blossom at the Peace Park, one of the best places in Japan to experience Sakura. But time your trip well, as Sakura generally only lasts a couple of weeks. Onomichi Another day trip out of Hiroshima, Onomichi is a small town located about two hours from the city. Best experience in the summer, Onomichi is another opportunity to visit shrines and temples on the Temple Walk. With awesome views over the Sito Inland Sea, climb up to the top of Mount Senkoji or catch the ropeway and walk down. Christmas Day! The festive season is another great time to visit Hiroshima. Despite generally not being celebrated in Japan, you can experience the slightly odd tradition of eating KFC on Christmas Day, eat some Christmas cakes generally involving strawberries in some form or another, and check out the lights close to the Don Quixote store. Nagarakawa An area of Hiroshima well known for its nightlife, Nagarakawa is located roughly a 10 minute walk from the Peace Park. Full of clubs, bars, novelty fancy dress stores, okay sex shops, office cafes and restaurants, Nagarakawa provides an impression of Hiroshima you would normally expect from areas of Tokyo. A definite must do. The Mazda Museum Yes, there's even more to do in Hiroshima. Car fans will enjoy a trip to the Mazda Museum, just two stops from Hiroshima Station. Hiroshima is Japan's base for Mazda, with a rich history of car production dating back to the 1930s. On a free guided tour, you can visit the museum with a huge collection of vehicles, including the first ever Mazda road car from 1960. 
In addition, learn more about the rotary engine and have a once in a lifetime opportunity to visit the production line, a heavily automated workspace full of futuristic robots which help you understand just how Mazda became a force to be reckoned with in the automobile industry. Hiroshima Castle Finally, a visit to any city in Japan would not be complete without visiting a Japanese castle. Hiroshima Castle is located reasonably close to the Peace Park. Built in 1590, destroyed by the atomic bomb and subsequently reconstructed in 1958, Hiroshima Castle also serves as a museum, allowing you to learn more about Hiroshima's immense history. You can even check out samurai weapons and warrior clothing. That concludes my 15 things to do in Hiroshima. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this useful in planning your Japan trip. If you like this video, why not leave a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. You can also check out more detailed videos on each of these 15 points in my Japan playlists. Have a great trip!